boys. I was feeling a little bit too retro there. Hiya, I'm Mylene Class, and I'm here to help you get the optimum performance out of your high definition system. Now, to do this, I'm going to need your help and the help of my aptly named assistants, H and D. Do you remember the old test card? Well, I do. It would always appear on the telly before play school, which meant my bedtime was just around the corner. But now, I can stay up late. I've been given the opportunity to appear in my own test card. But before we all get carried away, can I just check that you've got an HD TV? Because if you haven't, you're missing out on the true quality of high definition. There are a few things that would help with this tutorial and help it go smoothly. Firstly, familiarise yourself with your TV's remote and make sure you have your TV, Sky HD box and home cinema system operational manuals in front of you to help with this tutorial. Also, before we start, it would be a wise move to find out your TV's default or factory settings in case you want to restore them at any point. Now. As you can imagine, there are many different types of high-definition TV out there and each manufacturer will have their own special way of setting it up. That's why it's really important to have your manuals to hand because different manufacturers use different terms and some settings may not even apply to your TV. For this purpose and for this tutorial, I'll be using the most well-known or generic terms don't worry if you get stuck, you can always record and rewind this tutorial and go through it at your own leisure. Or, if you're some sort of technical boffin and would like to calibrate your system yourself without moi as your guide, then we will be showcasing Sky's beautiful new HD test card at the end. Okay, now let's get this show on the road, shall we? When you first got your shiny new Sky HD box installed, it will have been set up at Sky's recommended HD resolution, which is 1080i. What's that, Marlene? I hear you cry. Well, that's the number of lines Sky currently broadcasts HD in. If you need to check or change this setting, then, using your Sky HD manual, go to the relevant Sky EPG setup screen and check or change it now. Don't worry, we'll wait. First up is aspect ratio and positioning of picture. High definition is only broadcast in an aspect ratio of 16 by 9 widescreen. And for those of you using an HDMI cable from your Sky HD box to your TV, it will automatically be 16 by 9. If you don't have an HDMI cable, I suggest you get one to maximize your viewing pleasure. Until then, the best way to see the correct format is to make sure the circle in the center of the test card is a true circle. So, if you need to change this, get your TV's remote and if it allows it, press the aspect ratio button until it tells you the image is 16 by 9 or widescreen and that the circle is a true circle. Great. Right, most of you won't need to worry about this setting, but in case you do, to make sure that the positioning of your picture is correct, look at our example of the test card picture of Mini-Me within this frame here. Now, watch how we move the image of Mini-Me around inside the frame until we are happy with her position both vertically and horizontally. The arrows on all the sides of the test card need to be equidistant from the edges of frame. Get it? Great! Now, using your TV's remote, and if your TV will allow it, do the same with Big Me. Using the arrows at the edge of the big screen as your visual guide. Well done. Setting the right brightness, or as they say in TV land, black level. It's time to dim the lights and draw the curtains. No, nothing saucy. It's just to avoid reflections on the screen that will hinder you getting the brightness levels correct. Why, you may ask? Well, brightness adjusts how dark the black areas are and keeps darker colours from merging with each other. To help you adjust this level, you will see by the magic of television a large floating black circle appear above H's head. If your TV remote will allow it, alter the brightness until you can only just see the black sky logo within the black semicircle. If your TV's menu panel is blocking the image, use the floating black circles in the corners of your screen and do the same. Moving swiftly on, let's talk about contrast. 
Contrast is dependent on the environment you are viewing your TV in, and it's all down to your own personal preference. The general rule of thumb is that it shouldn't hurt your eyes when you look at the screen. Using our HD test card, look at the image as a whole, and if your TV will allow, using its remote, adjust the contrast until you are happy with the image. Not too dull, not too bright. Let's talk about colour. Once again, lots of TVs have different ways of setting the colour temperature, so check your manufacturer's manual and adjust accordingly. Right, boys, we're ready for our close-ups now. Hmm, cosy, and I'm getting paid for this. If your TV remote will allow it, adjust the colour settings until our skin tones look the most natural to your eye, whilst glancing at the grayscale below or above, to make sure that there are no hints of colour across them. Okay? Great. Um, Thanks, lads. Uh, you can get back to your posts now. Next up, it's sharpness. And to best demonstrate this, I will now perform a little bit of magic. Drum roll, please. <laughs> there are a couple of ways to do this, so let's look at the simplistic way first. Look at the black rectangles on the card or the corners of your screen. You will see it has two lines that pass through it. Now. If your TV lets you, adjust the sharpness so the lines are clearly defined all the way through and that the edges are smooth and clean, not blurry or ghostly. Well done. Have a breather and, I don't know, make yourself a cup of tea while the boffins try the techie way. Look at the vertical lines on what is called the frequency sweep, here or at the edge of your screen. Now, as the lines get close together, they become harder to distinguish between. If you are watching in standard definition, you'd start to lose the definition of these lines earlier as you moved further down the scale. In HD, you'll be able to see almost to the very edge of the frequency sweep. Using your remote, and if your TV will allow it, adjust the sharpness until you can see the definition of the lines as far down the scale as possible. Thank you, gentlemen. Ears, not just for keeping